Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've not missed me. Anyways, I hope you watched my previous video. If you've not watched it yet, I will leave a link in the description box. But today's video is something I've never done. It's something new on this channel. It's on how I made this beautiful goddess skirt. This skirt I love so so much. Trust me, I really love because I can dress down with this skirt or I can dress up with it. It's quite a very simple tutorial. All you will need are money for them, you can be baby. by laying down my fabric normally with a gutter sketch you don't really need too much fabric for me I'm just using two yards you can use one and a half but personally I want a lot of gutter so I'm using two yards I need my scissors my tailor's chalk and my t-square slash ruler to mark and cut the total length of the sketch I now have the exact length that I want, so I divide the fabric into two equal parts. I now take one half of the two pieces that I cut and then mark my zip line. This is where I consider the back where the zip will go. I just take one inch or sometimes I take half, but this time I'm taking one inch. So I'll start marking it from top to down one inch so that at the end I'll just connect all together. Just go ahead and pin everything together. Go ahead and do a straight stitch on the line after everything is pinned together. Whilst you stitch, you take the pins out one after the other. If you forget to leave the pins in it, sometimes you can get away with it and your needle wouldn't break. But from my experience doing this skirt, the needle broke like three times. So kindly take the pins out before you start stitching. Now align the two pieces together. Make sure the right side of the front lies on the right side of the back. They are not going to line equally on each other because remember, we took one inch for the zipper line at the back. Just mark an inch of seaming allowance on the sides. Draw a straight line on it. That is where we are going to stitch on. Pin them together and you'll be fine. 
bear in mind that this is a goddess kit. If they are not lying equally on each other, you shouldn't worry. We are beginners. We are allowed to make mistakes. But anyways, we should be fine. This is how everything should look like after we're done stitching both sides. Now, we have to determine where we would want to do our gathers. I prefer doing it at the side that I cut rather than the other side, the straight one. I would use the rough side because I can hide it under the band that I would do for the skirt. At this point, I have to do my stitch for the gathers. To do this, I have to take half an inch from top and then mark one straight line across it. I'll do the same thing for the back as well because I'm doing one straight stitch around the skirt. I need to program my sewing machine to the biggest stitch which in my case is number four then i start stitching round the entire skirt this is what we should have after we are done stitching thread like this and this is the same thread we will start pulling to do our gathers so start pulling that thread and you will see our fabric gathering 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 so this is what I think wasn't right for me because I've been doing gather skirt for quite a long time now I could say I'm a little bit experienced in just using one stitch to do my goddess but for a beginner please and please instead of one stitch kindly go back and do another stitch making it two before you start gathering your skirts because the thread can tear and it would make you start everything all over again and you would you wouldn't want to do that trust me it sucks <laughs> so this is how the goddess looks like and then you have to take measurements for the entire waist my waist was supposed to be 30 inches so you divide that by two that is 15 so you should have 15 inches for the waist i didn't get that i think i got 13 and i need two more inches so i have to play around it to get my 15. Finally, we got our 15 inches for the waist. The most tricky part of this whole process is the gathering part, but we are done. We are through it. The next process is to do the band for the skirt. What we will need is an interfacing, which I got the medium one instead of the soft or the hard, and also a piece of the same cloth that we used for the skirt. Right now, you need to know the exact weight size that you would be doing. In my case, my waist size, as I told you earlier, is 30 inches wide. I need the band to be 2 inches wide and my waist is also 30 inches. So, because of seaming allowance, I will add one more inch to it, making it 3 inches.
this is what you should have after everything. You should have your exact length and two inches more for the seaming allowance for both ends. And with the same length, just trace and cut your interfacing. I would need the band to be 2 inches thick. Already I made it 3 inches because of seaming allowance. The bands are cut into 2 already and they are both 30 inches so I will just mark a straight line which is half an inch on top and stitch it together. Before I do the stitching, I have to pin them together. Even though I've been doing this for a while, I always pin my fabrics before I stitch on them. After stitching, you should have something like this. Something flat like this. It's flat because I ironed it before I brought it back. You iron it flat and open like this. The next stage is for you to put on your interfacing. With an interfacing, it comes in two different parts. You have the matte side and the shiny side. It's there for a reason. The shiny side is what you will put right on top of the fabric and the matte side is where you will iron. That is where you apply the heat to it so that it sticks right on your fabric. I did that, I applied heat on it, so as you can see, it's stuck right on my fabric. You then cut off the excess and then we should be fine. As you can see, you flip the fabric stitch that one inch that we left earlier on both sides after stitching you flip it right back and this is what you should have measure and be sure that you get your exact waist measurement in my case i needed 30 inches and that is exactly what i got remember the zip line we created in the beginning of the video just make an opening on that same side for the zip I am now attaching the band to the skirt. As you can see, I folded the edge of the band before attaching it to the skirt. When I do this, it gives it a very clean look. Just pin it round to make sure everything is equal. you should get something like this go and sew it come back and do the same for the other side after everything you should get something like this this is how your skirt should look after everything the final stage is to apply your zip the average length of a zip from the mid waist is eight inches which i just marked i'll just put on the zip just pin them together I wouldn't go into details with how I made the zip because I am making a video exclusively for that. I will just do a short video and show you how to put on a zip. The different kinds of zip that we have. So I didn't really explain much. But if you watch the video, you would have an idea of what I did with the zip.
love it to my baby You make me look so crazy the way you dance about me So this is the final step of our skirts You just have to fold the bottom Pin them and just sew round it this is the final 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 look this gives it a very clean and a finished look thank you guys for watching this video i made this video with love and i hope you love it too thank you for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and share so i will end here with some pictures of how i rock this kit thank you and see you soon bye